Hey, good day and howdy. Welcome back to the channel. Finally got round to the next stage of my C6100 project. Um, putting the uh, chrome stack on it and the belly tanks. And I'm doing a, putting a nose cone on at the same time. So you can see there the old nose cone is all busted in the one corner and had it so I've got that new one there which i've had on my shelf for a while um getting it ready to put on it simply just bolts on the front on those bolt holes and um should look a bit better so for the exhaust i've taken the muffler off and made up this little uh, adapter bolted it on and um gonna get a chrome stack I tried this one but it's slightly a bit too big in diameter so i'll find a bit smaller one for her and uh, put her on there and check it out see what it's like so been a bit of a gap between um videos on classic collections but uh getting on with it now project slowly coming along finished for the day now i've got the nose cone on got the grill in there with um, butterfly nuts holding it in got the chrome stack on not real happy with it um had to clamp it up a bit so i'll probably change that but it's coming up to the way i want it put the jewels back on it and next bit of the project will be the belly tank so i'll take those old square tanks off and make some 60 litre drums which is that size drum there into some open top toolboxes that run in in the side in there with this one this side one will have a battery in it and the other side one will have tools and i'm um, working towards this tractor looking like that model that i set out to achieve at the start of this classic collections c6100 project today i've been working on the exhaust pipe on this chamberlain c6100 project i had uh, a bit bigger diameter chrome pipe on that i wasn't that happy with um so i've bought some um, four and a half inch black pipe and painted it with a chrome paint and um, so I can run it straight I've come up with an option for a spark arrestor it's a uh, wire netting baffle it comes from an idea I had years ago when I was a, a young bloke um, panel van that I had had uh, loud exhaust and policeman didn't like it so he said go and quiet and down so I'd put wire netting in my pipes quieten it down until he was happy and then take him out again so it's also a spark arrestor for if I'm running around this tractor in the summer um, so it's just going to be installed inside the pipe and held in with a pin at the top and if I don't want it in there I can just take it out and run it straight out so for a comparison to show you what sort of difference in the sound I can um, fire up with uh, straight out I've installed the, the netting baffle uh, just held in with a piece of wire through the pipe to stop it working its way out so we'll do a sound on that it's 
fair bit quieter, maybe. Still got a bit of a crackle to it. If I want it quieter, I can just put more netting in it. It's fairly straight. Got a rain cap on the top. It's leaning back a little bit in comparison to the cab. That's the exhaust pipe part of the project now to get rid of these boxes and make some um, toolbox out of 60 litre drums. Okay, now I've got the um, drums on there, just sitting there loose, just to get a rough idea what it's going to be like. These drums are to resemble a fuel tank, but they're actually going to be a battery box and a um, toolbox. So once they are all mounted, battery will be in this side, uh, painted up aluminium, and it's coming on. Just a rough look at what what's in store. Okay, this is where I'm up to now. I've uh, I find it a bit hard to video and. Uh, do the engineering at the same time. It's a good excuse. So what I've done is made the drums fit on the frame and I've made some chains. Uh, I'm yet to make some little J bolts to tension the chains up slightly um, to clamp it on. So these toolboxes will be painted silver and the, and the chains will be painted yellow something different so that's that side and this side done the same thing I have to be pretty careful for the steering tire not to hit the toolbox or drum so I had to go back as close to the cab as I could so that's coming along all right I've just got to make these little J bolts now which will tighten up on the inside. I'll use some heat to bend the actual right angle in the bottom of them. Tried doing it cold and it was just, they were just snapping. Just a bit of threaded rod. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Getting a bit closer to my goal now. I've uh, put the jaws back on her. I've nearly finished the saddle toolbox fuel tank lookalikes. I've got a um, line the the, the uh, actual door with some plastic to strengthen it up. I was going to use a round plastic drum just to strengthen it up and uh, get rid of the sharp edges. Yeah, but it's starting to look like what I set out to achieve um, with the stack on there and the uh, tanks once they're painted silver or aluminium and the frame and the chains painted yellow it'll be uh, getting towards what I want and then um, put a decent stereo in it mirror and uh, probably get a paint job one day after all that so. okay I'm up to the stage of painting the belly tanks I've cleaned them all up touched up with some welds a bit of silicon so the next stage and then paint them put them on the tractor okay here we are finished off my toolboxes they're on there now painted up looking pretty good i reckon just what i wanted cool 